Hey guys, it's Nian here again with game 3 of the 4GG vs Tasia series and it, at the moment it is match point to Tasia. If he wins this, he wins the series and a place in the finals which I have already cast. I'm kind of going backwards in time, but that's okay. I don't own his lore in there which is a slight hitch. So, spawning down here on GSL Daybreak, it is going to be Millennium's 4GG. And up in the top position, it is going to be Liquid's Tasia. Tasia, Liquid's star player. Um, SIPL, IPTL 3 or 2, I think, the most recent one, I think it's 2. Um, he actually he was actually sent out all by himself, which proved um, Team Liquid's confidence in him. And that confidence was justified after he managed to all kill Team Incredible Miracle. However, Incredible Miracle pulled a miracle out of somewhere and managed to win the second um, set of series and won. However, both play... well, no. Tasia's gone for a quick supply depot. I say quick because it's uh, in this area. It saves rush distance getting over there. However, the barracks is going to be over on this side. However, we've got, we're going to get a wall off from 4GG. And, uh, so, well, it looks as though he doesn't want to fall for the same bunker rush that he went, f that he fell for last game. Game 3 was a very short game, 5 in-game minutes. So, yeah, 4GG lost the last game by 2 racks, uh, not 2 racks, single racks, uh, Marauder Rush, uh, with bunkers, and he lost that. And he must be feeling pretty awful with himself at the moment, I can imagine, because... Playing on ladder with uh, no money at stake, just uh, a position in like silver league. Um, I know how much I hate to get cheesed, and presumably, well, I can probably guess that that hurts all the more if you are in a well, if you're grandmaster, one of the best Koreans, um, grandmaster on EU and Korea, and possibly North America, um, and you get cheesed in the semi-finals of one of the, I don't know if it's co considered one of the majors, I don't think it's quite up there with the TSL and the uh, MLGs, but it is certainly a big tournament. Um, but the uh, counter scouts and scouts, and it looks as though fairly mirror build, both players going for the early CCs, however 4GG might be moving up into a more mech orientated build with the double gas, however Tasia has yet to take a single gas. So quite curious as to what's happening at the moment, however 4GG has managed to supply block himself however that command center should release some of that pressure at the moment identical map control for both players with both cell Naga towers taken by a marine each and factory coming, no no that's the command center, I thought it was a factory so third CC coming down for Tasia um, not unusual for Tasia to play multiple command centers because He's just able to do it. He can play as many command centers as he wants, and he just doesn't care. But we are going to see the reactor coming down for uh, Millennium's 4GG, as well as Orbital Command on one or other or both of his... Ah, it's just on the one command center. The other one already has it up. So that's going to be providing a boost to the economy, and the uh, Orbital Command coming down for Tasia on his natural. He's already got it on his main. But uh, two barracks coming down for Tasia and one fa sorry two ba ba yeah barracks coming down for Tasia and a factory coming down for 4GG, taking him to a 1-1-1. So 4GG has been looking as though he's been trying to 1-1-1 it all this time, and he's got and uh, t I wonder what the sound of gunfire was. It was a neutral supply depot. Oh, how you stop the three pylon rush, um, which I have yet to succumb to, strangely enough. Uh, I've heard that it's a fairly common thing, but uh, I've not actually had either done it to someone or seen it done. Um, but I'm sure that will come in time. Strangely not seeing any add-ons on these barracks yet, however he doesn't have all that much gas. He's got his double gas up now, but uh, we've got three gases up for 4GG and cloak coming so we are going to presumably see banshee as well as reactor hellions which is a fairly zerg build uh... i'm i'm wondering if 4gg knows that he's playing a terran at the moment and tech lab for the um... 
in barracks, so presumably we're just going to see 4GG try and harass Tasia to death. Because Hellions, uh, Banshees, and possibly Reaper harass are all possible at this moment in time. And it looks as though Tasia is possibly expecting a Banshee. Yes, he's expecting a Banshee. Um, so his face, I want, I'd like to see his face when he discovers that it's actually four Hellions. And he sees them, and that marine gets obliterated by fire. Um, so he begins loading up the bunkers. He manages to get three in the bunker before... Oh, all those workers are going to go down. Uh, and workers get six killed already. And if we go to the units lost tab, it's actually even. Because four Hellions lost is 406 SCVs, two marines is another hundred so pretty equal at the moment that bunker getting loaded up with uh, some nice juicy marines all of them actually on yellow health but uh, that uh, that banshee desperately looking for a way around and sees the turret and gets well gets about 30 something health combat shield upgrade finished off and we are seeing one and stim for Tasia. however blue flame coming down for 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 GG, that supply depot not going to get built uh, at, for the moment. But those those workers are, are in trouble. That mule desperately trying to mine all that it can. That turret is just in the wrong place. It needs to be in the middle of the mineral line. But are we, yes, we're going to see a sti the sca stim, the scan, and possibly a stim. No, it, it doesn't actually happen. That uh, command center going to begin to succumb to to the Banshee, but uh, it's just not going to die, that, that Banshee's already got 8 kills on it. If we look at the Worker's Guild, it's 12 to 0, and if we go to the Unit's Lost tab, it's 700 to 400. This might be a deficit that Tasia can't come back from, even though he is on sitting on a nice comfortable 3cc, um, whereas uh, 4GG is only on 2, uh, so he will have the Mule advantage. <laughs> Excuse a sniffle, but um, very mech heavy at the moment. Uh, not going, probably not. Yes, three factories. Uh, as opposed to the common three rack, it's going to be three factory. But uh, full bioplay looking like from Tasia. However, he is getting an armory as well, so possibly going to see Thor's. But he might be taking his third, and that Viking going to try and clean up that Banshee. Will. Their cloak runs off and instantly gets taken down. So Banshee, I think it was on nine to ten kills. Um, but Tasia taking the third, so we will have the macro advantage, even though he has a uh, worker deficit. And that medevac just going to sit nicely forward of the bunker, ready to stim up and pick or pick up any marines that are needed. That are needed. And another two barracks. So Tasia going definite uh, barrack, uh, definite bioplay. And we've got the floating barracks over here for 4GG, a definite sign that he's going mech, because if he was going bio, that would be the factory. So three mules at once coming down for Tasia, so that's a heavy macro advantage, as well as having a third CC. But if we go to the income, Tasia's definitely got the advantage at the moment. It's a case of whether he can capitalise on it with a 30 supply deficit. That is going to be the important thing in this game, and also... Those marines cannot get afford to get too clumped up, or well, clumped up or in a line, because if those hellions get us around, those marines are going to be toast. If you pardon the pun, but it looks as though he might be getting, beginning to move out. Those hellions, they are going to be deadly. They pick off that that lone marine just sent out there to check whether there was anything coming, and this is the point where Tasia goes, ah, I I need units. Because those Hellions and Siege Tanks... How many Siege Tanks are there actually there? Seven Siege Tanks. They're going to try and take, start to take down that. And I don't know if you can hear me above the sound of uh, Blue Flames. But uh, those Siege Tanks are going to siege up at the bottom of the ramp. Tage has got to hold the line. He begins loading up the bunkers. So... <laughs> he's got his lone Siege Tank out. Siege tanks are able to get to that bunker and it obliterates everything. Those bunkers aren't going to stand much longer. This might actually be a GG from Tasia. 
quickly try and salvage that bunker. Will he get it? Yes, no. I don't think he got it before it managed to go. But those Vikings go and start trying to counter those other Vikings. And that bio just gets shredded by the siege tanks and the Hellions. And there's a GG from Tasia. 4GG wins it back. He could win this one back, possibly. But if you've watched the finals, then you know. Spoilers. Um, so, yeah. Tasia, bio versus mech. Mech will win if you have Hellions basically or yeah mech will win if you have hellions and siege tanks because those that sieging up on the ramp obliterated the blunk the the blunkers the bunkers there and the low and siege tank just didn't get a chance to do anything but i've been nian and i will see you in game four